Hello everybody and welcome to the Boxing Locker. I am your boy Matt Goddard, former professional boxer, now boxing coach. And today I'm going to answer a question I had on Instagram or YouTube, I can't remember which it was. Um, the person who asked it, I will send this video in a link. Um, about the flash lead hook, what is the flash lead hook? How do you throw it? Um, this is a punch that I advocate a lot, I show a lot in my videos. Um, the reason being it is a great way to occupy the opponent's guard, to distract the opponent's line of sight, and to open them up to other punches. Okay, so what is the flash lead hook now? We have two options here. When I throw the flash lead hook, I can either throw it off the jab, so it's a real quick bap, 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 bap. No real effort. I'm not trying to knock them out with them. I'm just trying to be as quick as possible. Real snappy. Or I can throw it out as a flash from nowhere. So I'm here. Just there. It's all arm. Real quick, okay? Now, usually I wouldn't advocate arm punching, but what we're doing is we're creating a space, okay? We're occupying. Remember all the things I said before? With the intent of this is to be as fast as possible without wasting effort, without wasting energy. It doesn't even matter if the punch slaps. What I'm trying to do is keep myself defensively responsible, throw that shot, whip it around, whip it around as quick as possible so that I can see the opening that it creates and land that next shot. Now, I'm in position, I'm throwing the jab, I've got that range, I'm seeing how they react to the jab. The jab isn't opening anything up, that's the problem. The jab's not opening anything up, so to create that opening, I need to do something different. I need to change the flow of what I'm doing. Maybe increase the pace. So the increase of pace is that, that, that little flash. Jab, bap, jab, bap. Almost like a double jab, but because it comes across more, it has a greater effect to occupy the guard, to force that hand in tight to protect. And as a result of that, it's going to open up two of my absolute favorite punches. So I go whack, whack. And then I've got a lovely shot straight down the middle, through the guard, whack, whack, straight through the guard, whack, whack, boom, straight through the guard. As them hands tuck in here, boom, big gap for that right hand to come through. And my personal numero uno, my big favorite, is the liver shot. Whack, whack, drop down, whack, right under that elbow. So I'm in position, I catch that lead hook flashing, opens up the rib cage. I even hurt myself, hit myself that one. Yeah, so. We're in here, bop, bop, pow. drive it in as hard as you can. Flash, flash, pow. drive it in, snap it in there. Bop, bop, pow. Drive it in there, hard as you can, snap it in, don't tickle it. Throw it, drive it right into that liver spot and do as much damage as you possibly can with it. So, you'll see that used a lot by Canelo. Canelo's a great uh, advocate of that liver shot. Um, and, uh, and he sets it up using exactly this method all the time. Taps there, what, boom. The strikes out there, boom, tap, boom, opening it up. Um, the, the, the setup for the right hand, you literally see guys use this all the time. That boom, boom, bop, straight down the middle, open up the guard. I mean, it's historically, you, you can go back decades, decades and see that used as a functional skill. Same with, same with the, um, the liver shot setup. But, so so that, that left hook flash in there, back up can sort of be translated into a, a kind of close work as well. So if I'm, uh, if I'm in close to the, to the bag and I'm in here, imagine this is my opponent. Boom, quick hook, boom, pow. Same thing, okay, quick hook, pow. Quick hook, pow, driving under there. Get the guard up, get to lift and protect and then drop and drive underneath. So you'll see these kind of setups work all the time. The great thing about this one is it keeps you defensively responsible, so it doesn't open me up. Everything's tucked in. I'm not overcommitted. It's not a massive feint, or I'm not walking into any big shots. And the other good thing is because it because it occupies the guard, it's very difficult to counter. So if I'm throwing a jab, and my opponent would normally be looking to counter with their right hand over the top, because I'm slapping that hook in there, that little quick flash hook, it stops them using that hand. Okay, that's what I mean by occupy the guard. Stops them using that hand, it makes them, forces them to defend rather than to attack with that hand, okay? Or they just get hit, so I, they come with the right hand, I flap over the top, you can move out with a pivot, you're straight out of the way. So, that is the basics of the flash lead hook, its functions, why you would use it. When you would use it is a little bit different. I like to use it, as I just showed you, in close and at range, but it, it takes a bit more confidence to use it in close a little bit more confidence because 
you've got to um, you've got to be willing to kind of stand in there, get your head off that centre line, shoulder to shoulder, chest to chest, chin to chin. So it's um, it's a little bit more of a confidence thing in close, but at range it's a beautiful shot. A lot of work out there. Bap bap boom, bap bap boom, bap bap boom boom. So many options, so many different things you can do off of it. Um, and, and don't limit yourself to presume it's just that liver shot or the straight right hand. As I just showed you there, you can go bop, bop, come back with a nice straight one, two. You can go bop, 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 right hand underneath, bop, bop, over the top of that right hand, bop, bop, uppercut. Options, loads of them. There's absolutely no reason why you should limit yourself. As much punch variety as possible, as much punch, punch dexterity as possible, and you'll always have success. So. There we have it, guys. Um, just a quick shout out to uh, Zero Fight Gear, sending me out these beautiful gloves. Uh, check them out on Instagram, Zero Fight Gear. New company just set up, uh, a friend of mine through Instagram um, is doing some great things with these and uh, beautiful gloves, to be fair to them. Um, great bit of equipment, nice, good quality, and genuine leather. So give them a little check out and uh, thanks to Zero for the, for the gloves. Um, as always, let me know your thoughts on the video. Any other videos you'd like to see, let me know. All that good stuff. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, as I said, share the video far and wide. And anything else you want to see, let me know. Have a great day, everybody.